Yo guys, what's going on? It is Yoki Man here. I'm back with some AFC Wimbledon. Um, you know, Road to Glory. Um, we are piling through now and moving forward towards, you know, our goal. And our goal, as you guys know, is League One. Uh, and we have some, you know, some important fixtures now coming up because if we're going to go up, but that is not the way you want to start any game. Especially on FIFA. Uh, uh, it with a great goal, but uh, Redmond, you know, the new transfers, it really gave me a chance to get to use them, and I probably should have finished there with Johnson. It gave me a real good chance to get to use them and see what they're all like, and Johnson threw again there, but he's taken down. Yes, penalty. Um, I'm, If I'm being honest, I'm quite happy with all of them, and uh, I want you to forgive these episodes coming up if they're not um, at the same level as they they have been. Uh, I'm using new recording software, so I don't know how good stuff's going to record. Um, so and, and I am a little bit tentative about that because of you know using um, new software <sighs> tends to mean that the videos aren't fantastic. But hopefully it'll be good. But look, they come forward here. Look how much, how how many players they come forward with, and he manages to miss. And I was like, yes, thank God. Uh, again, good shot there. But you cannot give people these sort of opportunities. You know, playing Exeter. You know, no offense to Exeter, but this should be a victory. But we let him in there, and Jay Reed scores, and they're through again. And it's great save by Rudd. He really saved our bacon in this game. You know, I knew we had to work as hard as possible, really, to get back into this game because these sort of games I can't be losing. And Johnson through again. I mean, the passing play to that lead up and in the 90th minute, I mean, I was screaming at the screen because I, I've i not been playing when I've been recording. I've not been playing FIFA consistently enough, and I think that's probably why um, sometimes I'm not performing great in some of the games. Uh, we've got a match against Gillingham coming up here, and, you know, I... I Gillingham can definitely be uh, a problem in this league. I think they were third, so I was hyped for this match. You know, this had to be one I could win. Uh, but we get an early chance there, and it was brilliant. But, um, you know, Johnson misses a lot of chances. But look at that from Weston. Johnson misses a lot of chances, which is really frustrating. But then at the same time, in the last game, you see he scored two goals. So I decided, okay, we're going to we're gonna stick. With, uh, with Johnson, that's what I did and Gillingham was always going to be tough to be honest, I probably would have taken a draw I know the squad I've got, I should be winning look at that off the post there from Kedwell but I would have taken a draw at this game because, um, you know, it's difficult Declan Rudd there, 17 clean sheets uh, that's awesome, but at full time it's nil nil and we accept that, we, we take that that's that's not too bad. Um, I mean, we had opportunities. They had op opportunities. It could have gone either way. Um, in FIFA 14, I'm definitely not going to do any kind of financial takeover or anything like that. Not that it's ruined the save, but I mean, it's it's made it a little bit too um, too strange because I wouldn't have half of these players. I mean, I'm. Obviously, I'm not going to restart because he comes out soon, so I'm just going to carry on going through with this. But, yeah, I, I I would change that. But look at that there, and what a goal. And, you know, Johnson may have been seen as a bit of a poor signing, but I think he's championship level, and he can be our striker up front up until the championship, definitely. Trebel there hits the crossbar, and, and Murphy, what are you doing? He could blame the rain all he wants, but that's shocking, man. Uh, but Trebel, what a shot there. He's He's been my superstar, really. My, my, a little gem that I found. I've never heard of him before. I've never found him before. And I would suggest him to you guys. He just brings the play together. I mean, look at that move there. We get a bit unlucky, but he just brings all the play together. Just the way he plays is brilliant. And obviously Jamie Murphy as well. But we break through here and it's Redmond. And Redmond gets his first goal for the club. Um, he's got to be happy with that. What a goal. But uh, we weren't done there. We just seemed to keep piling on the pressure on Northampton. And, you know, a shot there. And then Dawkins gets a little tap in. Dawkins is... Uh, is Another great player. I've got so many good players. I don't... Um, where I am, I've actually finished the season now. But uh, I don't know who I'm going to let go and who I'm going to keep. Or if I'm going to let anyone go. But Johnson there goes close, to be fair. But uh, a well-earned victory. 3-0 victory. And, you know, it 
sometimes it just comes together in games and it did uh, in this game definitely very very happy uh, Johnson played a blinder but so did Redmond actually he was really good in this game but I was feeling like I'm not using Loki or Lucky or well, yeah, I don't know whatever his name is so or Lokokoi I don't know it's one of them if you guys know leave it in the comments but uh, so I bring him in for this one and I just want to see what he's like I know he's pacey as alt so uh, I wanted to see what he was like but that's it that's half time literally nothing happened in that first half against Chesterfield um, th there weren't really many chances for me to show you. I show you L Lucky, uh, is what I'm going to call him for now. But look at that! I brought Harry Kane on his first appearance for the club, and he couldn't get the job done there. But look at this ball to Naki Wells. This is uh, Harry Kane played actually really well, to be fair. But that should be a goal. Uh, I was so unlucky. Even though Lucky has the ball, but he he's really good. Uh, I don't know, I'd never heard of him before. From Ajax, I think I got him from. He's pacey as anything, and look at that ball there. Naki Wells is in, but... You no, know, I, I felt like I should have played Johnson. I mean, he, he manages to get the tapping in the end, but Johnson maybe would have scored that first off, but... You know, this sort of game is like, I need to win this, I need to win this, I need to win this, and... That sort of goal is really important, but look at this. The break us down, and... 83rd minute, I mean, I really need to sort myself out, but I think that's the last game of the episode. There might be one one more game, but I think that's pretty much the last game of the episode. I might be wrong, I'm going to look like an idiot now. But uh, look at that, look, he gets the chance, and no, we just uh, we get a scout in, and uh, we will be setting up his scout report, uh, but we've got him in, and, you know, hopefully we do well. We decide to uh, sim this match, I think, coming up. You know, I'm assuming some matches because I really, I just want to get promoted. I want to get in the Premiership in this save at some point. So I'm just kind of trying to push through as uh, as best as possible. Um, Hernandez, um, if someone told me that I should probably sell him. I got the year out of him that I wanted, but I think I'm just going to keep him as backup. We'll see what sort of transfer budget I get. If I get like an awesome transfer budget, then I may change my mind. But he's he's good enough, I think, for for League One. Uh, so we sim this match against Burton and uh, you know you guys are legends for watching this please give it a thumbs up and and a like and you know the progression into the um, into the premiership is hopefully soon